WCCB News Edge with Morgan Fogarty and Rance Adams starts now. They'll never be in pressing. They'll never be in pressing. You're in from a tree, but it'll never stop with me. They'll never be. Hmm. Every time you see it, it's. It doesn't lose its shock. A few seconds of that offensive footage causing shockwaves across the country. That video, shot Saturday apparently, shows party bound members of the Sigma Alpha Epsilon fraternity in, uh, at the University of Oklahoma in black tie clothing singing a racist chant. The chapter belonged to the University of Oklahoma until these images surfaced. I'm Rance. This is Morgan. This is The Edge. And the National SAE chapter sharply condemned the actions of their members, threatening to suspend those responsible for the life. University President David Boren, and I hope I, I'm saying his name correctly, took it a step further, calling the students behind the chant a disgrace, permanently severing ties with the fraternity. He's giving SAE members until midnight tomorrow, Tuesday, to vacate their frat house. And as they pack their bags, I hope they think long and hard about what they've done. The OU community is coming together in a series of peaceful demonstrations. Some believe incidents like this are not uncommon among the younger generations. In a statement, the fraternity's leadership says, quote, we apologize for the unacceptable and racist behavior of the individuals in the video and we are disgusted that any member would act in such a way. It goes on to say, we are hopeful that we can reestablish the Oklahoma Kappa chapter at some point in the future with a group of men who exemplify our beliefs and who serve as leaders on campus and in the community. So our question of the night, should the University of Oklahoma SAE brothers be expelled from that school? We are taking your Facebook comments and tweets live on air right now. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I was surprised to see that there are Folks who don't think they should be expelled. Some people even going as far as to say, kids do dumb things. <laughs> well, let's go look at a few of the dumb things, frats. Uh, I have found a list of some of the most disturbing racist events at colleges. Uh, Arizona State University, they had a thug party uh, where Tau Kappa Epsilon, they all for MLK Day decided to dress as gangsters. Uh, they had a USA versus Mexico party at Randolph Macon University, and right up Tobacco Road in Duke, they had an Asia Prime party. Now these are a few years ago, and but those are offensive. Those are no, those are undoubtedly inexcusably offensive and wrong. But for me, and obviously I want to know what you think, that video of that chant is worse. Oh, way worse. But my point being with all of these is. The worst of any of these was a week-long suspension. Now, this is way, way heavier situation. Should they be expelled? There, are some, there would be some that would argue that not everyone part of the frat may not no, have been a part of No, we're talking about the kids who are, can be identified, the kids who perhaps they can figure out were on that party bus and who were singing along. And obviously, in particular, the one kid who is in clear frame in that video. Oh, the one ringleader? I mean, that guy especially, because I'm sure he's one of the power brokers in the fraternity, and for him to be sitting there egging it on, this power is what Power broker in a fraternity. Well, I don't know. I wasn't in a frat. <laughs> no, I know. I wasn't in a sorority. <laughs> I, I, but, I mean, for them, this is what they're teaching, like, their pledges. Right. That's a great point, and I, I've been talking about this all day long. This is a song that these kids... They did, it wasn't like a heat of the moment argument and one of them yelled a racial slur mm. and you could apologize and, and, and somehow redeem yourself and move forward. This is a song that they took the time to learn where, presumably in the fraternity, oh, since sure. it's a frat song, and then decided to recite it. As they're going to a party, some celebration, this is how they celebrate. I mean, most people right. sing club songs, but this is how you choose to celebrate. So all of those on that bus that you could, if you could identify them, they should face some severe punishment. Expulsion may be pretty he heavy, but I mean, probably not that bad. But this is, you know, this is the, other, the argument that, that always comes up when we, when we see these sort of things. Freedom of speech, freedom of speech, freedom of speech. No, yeah. no, no. They no. have freedom of speech, and that prevents them from being arrested and thrown into jail. What they don't have is freedom of offense, and what they have done is offended a tremendous number of people across the country, oh, and yeah. there is no freedom from consequence. You will, yes, you will not go to prison, but that doesn't mean that your workplace, your church, your school 
doesn't have the right to, to deter, uh, determine an adequate punishment. And we know OU is big football, so one of their star recruits that was coming in next year, he decommitted as soon as he saw the video. He's like, um, I can't go anywhere where that kind of ignorance is blossoming in full bloom. But this is what another point. Like, I don't want people to think in any way that I'm condoning what they did, but when you get, commit a crime, I say this all the time, if you're gonna do something stupid, if you're gonna commit a crime, don't video it and don't pass it around for people to see. Come on. I mean, if you're gonna be dumb, just be dumb. But don't broadcast your idiocracy or idio idiocy to the world. You know, I, my idiocy can't even speak. I'm done. Idiocy, yes. Well, you make a great point, and, and I think. Um, we live in a world now where by the time you reach college age, as these kids are, you know the pitfalls of these little devices and that nothing is private anymore. Mm -hmm. Everything can be recorded. And if you are going to do something like this, be prepared. You, you might, yeah, be, be prepared. prepared. Should the University of Oklahoma SAE brothers be expelled from school? Facebook or tweeted to join in on the conversation.